Okay, so the question is, what's a highlight or low light of your baby? And I think a highlight would just be um, basically it showed us um, how to be a parent, and I thought that was cool. That was a highlight. Um, low light is basically just all the difficulties. So everything we had to do was, yeah, it was really difficult. Just having to carry it around all the time, like, just all of that stuff. But um, a highlight really was basically just showing us how to become a parent because it showed us how difficult it is and um, convinced me that teenagers are just, like, way too young for kids. And, yeah, that's it. The question is, what was the <laughs> highlight or a low light of having a baby mm -hmm. yeah so a highlight i think taking care of the baby really made us a bit well we were forced to mature a little more because we had to take this project seriously and i think my partner and i accomplished that also i think a highlight was probably when we had to create the facebook page so you know choosing the name of the baby was really fun also Coming up with like, oh, activities that your baby does or favorite nap spot. And we kind of just shared ideas of how like, what were our favorite nap spots when we were <laughs> younger. So then we chose one. Also, what's our like favorite food? Then we chose one. So we kind of like teamed up on everything. A low light, probably a low light just um, when our baby was leaking like oh, out of yeah. nowhere. And then we felt the sack like a little bit. <laughs> Um, like with less sugar and we started panicking with like oh my god oh my god so we were like rushing to get tape to save our baby and that must have been like the worst experience yeah, ever so yeah so the question was if your partner has been cooperating and honestly I think I made such a great choice of choosing <laughs> Nina as a partner I knew she wouldn't lack off like of any of the assignments we had to do and it's just fun having her as a partner because we sometimes have like full on conversations of <laughs> our sugar baby even though it's like not even human. And just how we kind of teamwork into taking care of it and <clears throat> cooperate in our timings. Like sometimes I can't take care of the baby so I can always count on her to take care of the baby. Mm -hmm. um, we try doing like day one probably of the week me then day two Nina mm -hmm. taking turns on weekends and it's just really easy and fun working with Nina on taking care of this sugar baby <laughs> uh, basically the question is asking if my partner has cooperated with me <clears throat> and overall I think Gladda really did cooperate really well with me and I had no problems at all with her with this project like everything went really well we can easily communicate, like tell each other when we want the baby and when we don't. And I think that she was really good with that because we would have the baby like an even amount of days all, all the time. So that was really good. And just with the brochure that we had to do, that was also really like she also really cooperated with that. Like we did an even amount of work. So I think she was just a really good partner with that as well. And yeah, overall she was just a good partner. And I enjoyed doing the project with her. Thank you. <laughs> so the question was if I'm ready for a baby now, why or why not? So basically I'm not ready for a baby. Taking care of a baby is such a pain. Uh, Mentally and physical, <laughs> because like physically you have to carry around the baby all the time, take care of it, make sure it's not like you know being mistreated by others or by myself or by my partner. Mm -hmm. Um, mentally because you're just like probably focused on your homework or just other things, but you you also have to be thinking of your child. And I don't know, I think teenagers who have babies now or our age just must hate it so much even though I mean it's a blessing that you have a child but it's just it doesn't fit 
to our age. We're just very careless and we don't really think of anyone else but ourselves, especially thinking of someone this young <laughs> as a baby. So yeah, I don't think I'm ready for a baby. So the question is, do you think you're ready for a baby now after this project? And I don't think I'm ready at all for a baby because this project got to really showed us what you have to do to be a parent and just everything you have to do to take care of your baby and make sure that it's safe. And just all the difficulties I had with this baby, and it's not even a real baby. Like, if it was, if it was a real baby, that would be really difficult. I don't think we're ready at all because of how young we are. We're not stable, like, emo emotionally, like, with our money. We're not stable at all with that either. And I think that we're just way too young because of just how immature we are. We're not really mature enough to have a baby because you have to be really stable for that. And I don't think teenagers are anywhere ready for that. Um, yeah. So the second question is if our personalities work together and what are, <laughs> what are our str strengths and weaknesses? Um, overall, I think we worked really well together. Um, because we would communicate a lot, like who has the baby, who's taking care of the baby. What ba what days can you take care of the baby? Yeah, I think that was the best part because we easily cooperated. Yeah, like we would always make sure which day we wanted to take care of it and agree on it mm -hmm. instead of like fighting or something. Especially like not taking advantage of our partner, you know, giving him giving him or her the baby for too long. Yeah, um, we were pretty fair with that. Yeah, also. I mean, personalities match up because it was fun naming our baby and deciding what she eats, likes to eat, because we both like kind of shared our ideas and then we chose one yeah. specific one. Also, uh, basically, I don't know, it's just fun working with Nina and it's very easy and it's just like less stressful yeah. than having another partner. Also, especially because we don't really mess around with our babies. Yeah. I've seen a lot of partners just mess around with their babies yeah, and not really like, care. And I think we really take care of yeah. it. <laughs> Extremely. Like, we treat our baby like if it's our, if, like if it's actually alive. Yeah. It's actually a human. Mm -hmm. Like, if someone's talking bad about it, we're just like, hey, <laughs> we step in, especially because of her name. <laughs> but I mean, it works. Yeah. So the question was, what's the most difficult part of taking care of your baby? And Nina, do you want to start it off? Yeah, sure. Well, I think the most difficult thing is having to carry the baby around, especially during class or like going to class. That's really hard because we have our books and our bags and everything else that we have to take care of. And it's just difficult to have to remember to bring the baby Along. to different classes. They're just bringing it to school. Yeah. Um, also, when it's leaking, or if it's leaking, to find the spot, the specific spot, I mean spot yeah. it's leaking yeah. from. Um, replacing tape every once in a while. Uh, what else? Basically, making sure it's well treated. Well taken care of. Yeah. Especially during class. Like when you're busy taking notes or just... Or if you have to go to the bathroom, yeah. you have to bring it along. Or ask someone to watch it. Yeah. Or I think the like the worst part is having to look for a babysitter if you're really busy. Yeah. Because then really the hard. babysitter might not take care of your baby well. And then, and then it backfires. Yeah. Off. It does. What else? Um, um, making sure you don't leave it anywhere strange. Oh, like yeah, or forgetting, forgetting about your baby with a certain place. Um, I don't think we're near ready to have a baby. Yeah, no, it's just too no. much. Like, I think I'm a lot of work. I think I'm good with just making sure I have my bag with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, I think that's the difficult part of taking care of a baby. So the question was, uh, Nina. if. 
um, cystic fibrosis, or basically the disease that we chose, if it'll affect your child, and what cystic fibrosis is. And basically, cystic fibrosis is mucus buildup in someone's lungs, and it can it can make lung infections a lot more crucial than yeah. they should be. Could lead in death or just anything like that. Cystic fibrosis, uh, not everyone gets it, is usually ethnicities that come from European descent. And in this case, in Latino American Latino, Hispanics. yeah. And since we are both of Hispanic descent, yeah. Well, it would occur basically. in a child. Mm -hmm. So since our child has this, I think the disease will not only, you know, it, it will affect her life, you know, breathe in through her nose sometimes because of all the mucus built up or, you know, having trouble breathing because of her lungs. Uh, the disease will help her mature in mature a way a lot more. at such a young age. And, and also, you know, the treatments, it, it will be quite difficult for us to take her and all that, but, but I it think won't be as harsh on her um, on her health as something like cancer would be because of um, basically all the radiation they have to go through. Yeah. She doesn't have to go through anything like that. They just have to do a lot of different treatments. A lot of them helping her be able to um, breathe through her um, nose her, yeah, or her lungs to help her sinuses to unblock yeah. them and stuff like that. Um, one of the treatments that isn't quite harmful at all is